Hello wrestling fans, Jonathan Cairns back here with you and boy do I have a treat for you today. A Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match. For the very first time, Lincoln Steen defends the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship against the big picture Chris Cook. Steen Cook, who takes the belt? Prince Edward Island, welcome your new champion. I told each and every one of you that I was gonna walk away the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, and I didn't lie. This hardware is sitting over my shoulder, and tonight, Christopher Cook has issued the first challenge, and it's the first of many, because Lincoln Steen, he's gonna be champion for a very, very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away for the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match. Challenging Lincoln Steen is this man, the big picture Chris Cook. Chris, you're going into this match with a whole island in your corner. That's right, Jonathan. I got everybody from Prince Edward Island rooting for me tonight. And the one thing I'm not going to do is let them down. I'm going against Lincoln Steen, the afro-haired, goofy-smiled, whatever you want to call him, it doesn't matter. But Lincoln Steen, this will be the only time that you walk into Stratford as the champion because tonight a new champion will be crowned and that will be me. Today's Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match is brought to you by the Factory Cookhouse and Dance Hall. PI's own Chris Cook challenges reigning champion Lincoln Steen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one we came to see. Jonathan Cairns ringside with four-time Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Cowboy Mike Hughes. It's great to be here at ringside again with you, John. I want an up-close look at this action here tonight. You know that belt, you know, it should belong around my waist. I believe that, and I'm going to watch this closely and get another shot at that title. 
Yes, Cowboy Mike Hughes, you must have some mixed feelings going into this match. Chris Cook is one of your dearest friends, but Lincoln Steen took that belt off of you. He took the belt off of me, but I think Chris Cook will win that belt back tonight. He's talented, not taking anything away from Lincoln Steen, but I know that Chris Cook is a man, and if he wins that title tonight, he'll be more than willing to defend it against me. Cowboy Mike Hughes, your pick in this match is the big picture, Chris Cook. He's young, he's strong, he's super talented, he's really athletic. I'm not taking anything away from Lincoln Steen. You know, he's a veteran, he knows all, all the rules and how to break them, but, you know, look at the power of Chris Cook right here. Now, this one could clearly go either way, Cowboy Mike Hughes. The experience, a little bit more to Steen, but with Steen, the advantage he might have is I think he would do anything to win. Would Chris Cook do anything to win? Chris Cook is a guy that's going to go by the rules. He's going to do this fair and square. Chris Cook isn't going to lower himself to Lincoln Steen's level. He doesn't need to to win this match. He has to go out there. He has to give 110%. He's got to use his advantages. He's quicker, I think, and he's definitely stronger. He's definitely the bigger man in this match tonight. No size and power, certainly with the big picture, Chris Cook, as they're just feeling each other out. Another tie-up here. Chris Cook with a go behind. What's he going to do? Is he going to throw him? I'm not sure. And Steen is trying to reverse this, and yes, he does. Now, I don't think he's going to be able to throw the big picture, Chris Cook. Oh, beautiful reversal by Chris Cook, and he's got him in an arm lock. That's uh, a painful arm lock. What do you think, Cowboy? He's got him in a top wrist lock. Uh, Chris Cook and I have been working on that, you know, at the Naturally Fit Gym. We spend a lot of time in the ring together, and it looks like it's paying off here tonight. Absolutely. So you have been training with the big picture for this big match. And it looks like it's paying off. You know, we've been working on a lot of reversals and arm locks. Chris is a super talented guy. He just needs a little bit of experience. And I'm trying to teach him what I can. But Chris Cook is just all the... Look at this right here. Look at the athleticism for a man that's near 300 pounds. Incredible agility for a man 270 plus pounds. And he has got Lincoln Steen in a compromised position right now. And he's working that arm and shoulder. And Steen is in pain. Nice elbow drop on that arm by the big picture Chris Cook as he swings Lincoln Steen over once again. What's he going to do? Maybe a drop a leg on him, drop an arm on him. Uh, take advantage of that. No, big leg drop on the arm of Steen. He is working that arm and shoulder. He's going for a count. One, two. Oh, two count. Uh, I think it's way too early to get Lincoln Steen. You got to make that attempt. You could uh, have uh, Steen rattled right there. You know, when the pain goes through your shoulder from that much weight dropping on your shoulder, you know, it distracts you for a minute. Sometimes you're just not aware. A three count could happen just like that and not even realize the match is over. That's smart, smart wrestling by Chris Cook. That's true. It only takes a one, two, three to bring home the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. My goodness, this crowd is hot tonight. There's no better place to wrestle, like I've said before, than in Stratford, Prince of the Nice headlock takeover by Chris Cook, you know. That's another thing we've been working on now. Chris Cook uses his hips well. He uses uh, his weight well. And uh, it's just technique that he's been working on. Look at how he's leveling, pushing up off his knee there, putting all his weight on Steen's head. Folks, we're going to take a break here, and we will return to some more Red Rock Wrestling action. This week's Naturally Fit Superstar of the Week is one of Red Rock Wrestling's top stars, the big picture, Chris Cook. I'm Cowboy Mike Hughes. And I'm Chris Cook. Kids, don't try what we do at home, at school, or anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in this big Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match. The big picture has Lincoln Steen in a headlock here, and Steen he fires him into the ropes, gets out of the headlock, shoulder block for the big picture, Chris Cook. Chris Cook has Steen reeling now. What's he gonna do? He's fired up, he's going after Steen. Nice forearm shot to the head. Takes him to the corner, head into the turnbuckle. Chris Cook, big chop, Cowboy Mike Hughes, those chops hurt. Big knife edge chop, that's a big hand. That's like getting hit with a frying pan by Chris Cook. Here we go, big, oh, Irish whip it, big turnbuckle. Those hurt the spine. Oh that, oh, that, oh, that could tear your hamstring for sure. This is an opportunity for Steen. Steen can certainly capitalize on this. He is ruthless, he is relentless. Chris Cook has knee problems. He had knee problems in the past, and we've seen that. And Chris Cook has had surgery on that knee. And Lincoln Steen does his homework. He knows what's going to take the big man off his feet with a bad knee. He knows that's going to help him win the title back again. As much as I don't like Lincoln Steen, uh, I totally agree with you, Cowboy Mike Hughes, as a great strategy for him to retain his Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, working on that uh, left knee of the big picture. And again, takes him into the corner. If he could slow down the big picture, if he can neutralize that power advantage, uh, that could 
keep the title in the Lincoln Steen camp. Aiden Northcott's trying to admonish him, trying to get Steen out of the corner to give uh, the big picture Chris Cook a chance to get back into this match. Oh, Cook is down. He's hurt. He could be hurt badly. It's going to take a lot to keep Chris Cook down, but working on a knee, it doesn't matter how much you know, fortitude you have. When you have a knee injury, when you have a torn ACL, like Chris Cook has had his ACL repaired. He has his meniscus repaired within the last year. And, you know, for him to even be competing tonight is phenomenal. But Lincoln Steen, once again, he's cerebral in his attack. He knows that he has that weakness, and he's going to attack that with every chance he gets. Chris Cook just managed to break that hold, but you can tell he's still favoring that knee. Nice drop toe hold by Steen, and again, putting the pressure on the knee, putting the pressure on the leg. As much as I don't like Lincoln Steen, and that's well documented, i got to admire his ability and his skill in the ring. Look at that Indian lock cowboy. You can't take away Steen's athleticism, and he doesn't look like much. Sure, he's stocky, and he's a little overweight, and he's fuzzy head and people don't take him serious but the fact of the matter is he's an accomplished amateur wrestler he's a veteran he's been on a lot of the big tours in Canada he's been on the Northern Death Tours with Tony Candelo and this man is a veteran of the sport and combine that with his credentials that's why he's the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Cowboy as you know you don't become Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion by accident it takes a whole lot of accolades to get a title shot and to dethrone a, a great champion as he was able to dethrone. Steen took some shortcuts to win that belt, but I know that Chris Cook, you know, he's on the ropes now. Look, here he goes fighting back right now. See, Chris Cook has those things that you need to be a champion. He has that uh, guts. He has that, you know, intestinal fortitude. Uh, Chris Cook is a, fight, is a good fighting athlete, and he's going to show why he's one of the fastest rising stars in Red Rock Wrestling. Went after the knee again, and that, this Stratford crowd was so behind the big picture Chris Cook. They would love for the big picture Chris Cook to bring the title back to Prince Edward Island. And now uh, Steen's got both legs. What's he going for? Maybe a Boston Crab, maybe a Texas Cloverleaf? I'm not sure. Texas Cloverleaf right there. You know, uh, Steen knows, knows his moves. He's, like I said, he's a, he's a technician. And uh, to keep uh, Chris Cook on the mat is exactly what he has to do to win here tonight. And with the damage to Chris Cook's knee, uh, it wouldn't be inconceivable for him to get a submission. Although it's hard to believe the big picture Chris Cook submitting, but uh, when your knee is in that much pain, you have no choice. The knee's already weak, you're putting pressure on the lower back, you know, that's a lot of strain on the ligament and tissue like that, soft tissue. A look at that, so far in there, he gets the ropes now, the referee forces Lincoln Steen to break. Now Steen actually thinks he won the match. Oh, I'm sorry Steen, you have to get a legitimate victory to, to retain your title here. And look, Aiden Northcott's at monitoring him. Steen, if he was smart, he'd go keep attacking the big picture Chris Cook. Giving him time to recover, and he hits it. Oh, the, oh, the, that, no effect on the big picture. Once again, a big forearm. No, the big picture is fired up. He's setting him up. Big suplex. Now's the chance. Now's the time for the big picture to get back into this match. That's a devastating belly to back suplex. He landed high on his neck and, and on the back of his head. And if Chris Cook's going to make a comeback, he has to take advantage of that big move right there. Now this is his chance. Attack Steam, bring home the title. Beautiful clothesline again. The big picture is fired up. If he can hit the, that picture perfect slam, I think he's going to bring home the title. Boot to the bread basket, going to the ropes. Oh, looked like he was going for a knee lift there. Steen hits him in the. Oh, he's Steen setting him up for a, a big move. Possibly the Steen Topian driver. Sets him up. Now there's the picture perfect. He's got it. The title's coming home. Cover that man. Perfect slam, picture perfect. What? What happened? Who is. Brody Steele. Brody Steele's supposed to have a match with me here later tonight. What? Is, I didn't bring him back out of his suspension to be interfering in matches here tonight. I can't sit back. John and Karen's, I have to go. Ladies and gentlemen, my broadcast partner, Cowboy, might use his left of the broadcast table. Here he's heading to the ring, and the big story here is that massive Brody Steele has attacked the big picture Chris Cook. Big, big picture Chris Cook had Lincoln Steen covered, had the title in hand. The big Brody, big Brody Steele pulls Chris Cook out of the ring. Oh my goodness, throws him into the ring now. Brody Steele and Lincoln Steen in the ring. Oh no, big Brody Steele's going after the big picture. Oh, this is not good, folks. This is not fair. I certainly did not reinstate Brody Steele into Red Rock Wrestling for him to attack the, the big picture, Chris Cook. I didn't reinstate him to interfere. There's the Cowboy. Cowboy Mike Hughes is interjecting himself. He's going after Brody Steele. Ducks the clothesline. Hits him with a big chop. Hits him with a forearm. Brody Steele's in trouble now, folks. Oh, there we go. Looks like a double close line. They take down the big man. Folks, this is excitement personified here at Red Rock Wrestling. Unbelievable. Cowboy Mike Hughes jumps in to save the big man. The big picture, Chris Cook. 
Folks, this is pandemonium here. I'm not just the commentator here. I am the Red Rock Wrestling President, Jonathan Carrance, and I'm gonna go to ringside and take care of business here, folks. Brody Steele, I was supposed to get my hands on you one on one, but I couldn't sit there and watch when you interfered into Chris Cook's match tonight with Lincoln Steen. He should have went home tonight, the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight title. But you stuck your nose in it the same as you always do, and I wasn't going to sit there and let that stand. Lincoln Steen, this is far, far, far from being over. I've had enough of your shenanigans. You come to our island and try to pull that. It's not happening. Not with me and Cowboy Mike Hughes. Brody Steele, I might not get my hands on you all by myself tonight, but tonight I've been given the opportunity not only to punch you in the mouth, but also to punch Lincoln Steen in the mouth. Tonight, these two island boys are going to be chucking more than spuds. My name's Cowboy Mike Hughes, and I'm a professional wrestler. I've been doing this for 16 years. Kids, with all the training I've had, I still get hurt. I've broken almost every bone in my body. So we are professionals. Don't try this at school, don't try this at home, don't try this anywhere. Wrestling fans, I'd like to take a moment here to thank our many sponsors here at Red Rock Wrestling. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you the finest professional wrestling you'll find anywhere. The Factory, Dance Hall and Cookhouse, uh, Q93, our media sponsor, KKP, Quick Copy Printing, Naturally Fit, 166 St. Peter's Road, The Tech Guru, 
McDougal Steel Erectors, Red Rock Harley Davidson, Mike Bernard Photography. Without such great sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you the best in professional wrestling you're going to find anywhere. Next week, folks, scores will be settled. Incredible tag team match. The big picture Chris Cook and Cowboy Mike Hughes take on Brody Steele and the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Lincoln Steen.